Tuna kuimba song inaz almost persuaded. Amen. Almost persuaded. Almost persuaded. Oh, almost, almost persuaded. Now to believe. Almost persuaded. Raise our hands. Almost persuaded. from brother Matthew let's clap hands for brother Matthew yeah. praise the Lord yes you did very well I thought you would sing as an English one seeing you are coming from the UK but Shona is still in your bones ah, and in your blood Shona your let's appreciate our brother once again Praise the Lord. Wonderful. This is Brother Matthew. Did Brother Matthew Ava. And that's Sister Chipo. Ava, this Sister Chipo. Do I say it right or Chido? Chido. Matthew tell us. Chipo. Okay, because Chipo. I have a Chido, so everybody who starts with a G must end with a no. Ah, Chido Praise the Lord. We so much appreciate you, Sister Chipo. And thank you for bringing your brother here. They stay far in Avonlea. But they've chosen to come to bless us tonight. Praise the Lord. What a love. The roads are congested. The distance is a little bit far. So we want to thank God for their sacrifice. And also, this is not the only church in Harare. But they've chosen to be with us tonight. Let's appreciate them once again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we take our seats for a while? Yes. Brother Victor, thank you very much. Brother Victor, Dr. Nezkuru. Thank you for a good selection. Very uplifting. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is wonderful tonight. I've got a very rare breed in the house. Praise the Lord. Amen. The man who prefers not to do it. Every time he wants to take a second position. Not that he is inferior, but he prefers others all the time. I've uh, labored and dealt with this man for quite some time. 
when he was a deacon, head deacon in Eastleigh. And also, when he became the interim pastor there, uh, this brother is more than a Christian. Praise the Lord. Uh, his brother Makwinye. This is a father to Jubilee Makwinye. And Baba Kuna Jubilee Makwinye. Who is now wife to Brother Cosmas. Um, Zmai Kuna Brother Cosmas. I think we've interacted with him when we were wedding the two. And no funga kuti atakao kwansa kuwa nukena nao patanga chat sabirava. Praise the Lord. Malvarumbi zwe. They are in Norton. Ah, uh, Varuk Norton. God is helping them as well. Ishiwa kuwa batsira we koko. They've uh, shared out a testimony. Ah, uh, waka tumira chapupu. Praise the Lord. Uh, and people gathered around there in Norton. We are until they have a church which they pastor there in Norton. Uh, Praise the Lord. Is your wife around? She did not manage to be uh, around. Praise the Lord. But uh, Brahma Queen definitely is going to minister for us. Amen. Amen. I've known him from far back. In the time we were staying together in Glenview. When he was going to Eastley as I was going to Merrick Park. Uh, before he married then, before I married. Uh, his name is Nyararai. Nyararai. And he, he, he was living up to his name for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and myself being talkative, I would really cause him to talk in the bus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I've enjoyed his fellowship, his company each and every time. A very carpenter, a very qualified carpenter and woodsman. And carpenter, chaye, and it's tupa. He does uh, things out of wood miraculously. Uh, your home roofs. Uh, your home roofs. Okay. Uh, uh, my roof, zimba. Yes, Amen. he does them very well. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's been working for the government, but now he's a, he, he, he has reached retire, retirement and is now at home. Praise the Lord. He's going to minister to us. Yes. If uh, your brothers have ever been ministered to by a Christian, it's tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. This man, Murumeo. in the transitional arrangements at Eastley, uh, I, 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 there were things that would make him angry, but he never got angry. There were things that would make him not to want to talk to anybody forever, but he never took that attitude. Praise the Lord. And we were all giving him a lot of pressure. And he managed to manage that. Praise the Lord. And the other thing also, God has given him very beautiful daughters. And my boys are worrying me for his daughters. Praise the Lord. I wish he brings forth more so that, you know, I can always have you know, the, the boy is just coming for his girls. And Praise the Lord. Amen. God is so wonderful tonight. Let's open our hearts. That God is going to do something. We want him to unfold himself. Before us. Praise the Lord. We want him to unfold himself. As you well know that. <clears throat> he had a threefold purpose. To reveal the mystery. Uh, and to have preeminence in his bride. And to take us back 
to the garden of Eden. May the message preached tonight walk out of the scriptures and present itself in our hearts. Did you enjoy Victor on uh, Tuesday? It was a real surprise. Praise the Lord. But ministers are never going to be the same. But the God they serve is the same. So the same God is going to work through and with our brother tonight to describe it from another angle. When we bring the other one on the other day, the same God again. You know, I was wandering in the afternoon as I was driving. I thought the same car with a very hot engine if I tune on the, 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 the air con, I'm feeling cold. Cool. While inside the car. But go open the bonnet. It's so hot. I said, what is happening here? That's how God is. Are we together? So we serve the same God and we produce uh, these things from different angles and different levels. Shall we pray? Our gracious Heavenly Father, what a great honor to fellowship with the children who are packing Jesus Christ in their hearts. Those people harboring the secrets of God in this day. That are cognizant of the plans of God today. Who are cognizant of the plan of God today. Is them very children of yours gathered up for us tonight. We feel the great presence of God here tonight. Because you have come together with every brother especially with the preacher he was praying it as he was in his study desiring but God this is the time may you get a hold of him so that you unfold and and you plan we thank you for the singers thank you for brother Victor as well as brother Matthew in the way they sang and lifted up in the realms of our worship Lord may you speak through your committing everything in your hands in Jesus Christ's name Amen. amen Praise the Lord. Shall we rise to our feet? Victor, as you sing for us, let Brother Makwinye come over. Are we going to give him freedom to preach to us tonight? Can I see your hands? Thank you. Praise the Lord. You were crucified you laid behind a stone oh you leave to die rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall You thought of me above all to my good test and let's see the chorus. You were crucified, crucified, you lay behind the storm. Oh, you live to die, rejected.
Amen. While you are still standing, let's go into our Bibles. Matthew chapter 5. I greet you all in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love your pastor. And I know he also loves me. But I'm going to surprise him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's open to Revelation chapter 1. That is a re Arua chapter 1. And also Romans chapter 8. Roma chapter 8. And also Mark chapter 16. Marko 16. We just want to start to read in Revelation chapter 1. We want to read two verses from there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible say, Bible And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me. Saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am he that liveth. And was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. And if the keys of hell and death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Roma chapter 8. You want to read one verse from there? Verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 11. The Bible says, Bible But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the, from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Then the last one. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. You want to read two, three verses from there? So that we ring and demand it and not be papo. The Bible says from verse fifteen. By the note of our verse fifteen. And he said unto them, "You know, here we are going to go Go ye into all the world, and I am in Kayose, and preach the gospel to every creature. Muno parizira si kwa chose evangeli." He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Uyo unotenda uye ubabatizwa acha poneswa. But he that believeth not shall be doomed. Asi uyo usinga tendi ucha pomerwa. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Zino zirati zoe zicha tebe rabo anotenda. In my name shall they cast out devils. Muzitarangu vacha zinga madimoni. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. Is it Shinyawada or serpents? Okay. Okay. Amen. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. 
And they shall recover. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace tonight once again. We thank you, O oh Father, as we have gathered up again for the body, Lord Jesus. For the word says, where the carcass is, the eagles gathered up there, Father. Amen. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that even your prophet preached the message. Then Jesus came and called. Mm. O oh Father, we are in that kind of a situation again, Father, where we need Jesus once again to come and call unto us, Father. Amen. We thank you for we know that the preaching of the gospel, Father, is the highest form, Father, that you can talk unto a man, Father. We know and we believe that, Father, it is another time again that you have come, O God, to call unto us, Father. Help us, O Father, to respond, O God, even unto your calling, Father. Let us not be like the one that has been saying by the song leaders, Father, that pronounced and said, O most persuaded, Father. Hallelujah. Let that not, O Father, be found amongst us, Father. But let it be another time again, Father, when we go out there, Father, that we will profess and say, Jesus indeed came and called unto us, Amen. Father. We pray, O oh God, as we commit even the minister into your hands, Father. We know that, O oh God, a man, O oh Father, can only end upon uh, the ability to read the scriptures, Father. Mm. But the interpretation there, O oh Father, oh and God. the impartation of life, Father, only comes from thee and thee alone, Father. We pray as we commit these things, O oh God, even into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You can enjoy your seats whilst you may stand here. Hallelujah. Once again, I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think the pastor has said uh, quite a lot about my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to appreciate the Lord in everything. Hallelujah. Amen. I was telling him whilst we were outside that all the way from Norton tonight I just want to greet you. After greeting we pack our bags then you go home. Seeing also is the international service tonight. Seeing our okay. brother from UK. Uh, something else. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm not going to take much of your time tonight. But we just want to fellowship around the way, then we go home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I said before, that I love your pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also want to talk tonight about the benefits of his resurrection. The benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, many times people they want to go where they get benefits. Amen. Amen. And where benefits are, you find a lot of people flocking there. The reason why I said I love your pastor. I also benefited from him. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> and also I know we are also benefiting from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, that's always the case. That you want to associate where you get benefits. Hallelujah. Praise God. So benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he had not risen from the dead. Our gathering tonight will be in vain. 
kuunga na kwedu pano manero ano kuunga dae kuri kwenda ando but want to appreciate the Lord tonight for he is still the same yesterday today and forever he doesn't change people can change you can change I can also change but Christ doesn't change hallelujah hallelujah Amen. He rose from the dead. So that today you can benefit from that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are so many things in the natural that we benefit from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the natural sign. Even the natural sun. Hallelujah. Amen. If the sun was, was not there, just imagine one day he doesn't rise from the east. And it remained darkness. But checking on your, on your phone or whatever, we are seeing, you know, it's supposed to be in the morning. Around 10, around 12. It's still darkness. You start to wonder what is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just imagine that. It happens like that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Amen. Amen. On a Friday like this, it's still darkness around 12. And you know exactly around 5 you must go to church. But it's still darkness. You start to think the goodness of having the sun. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the reason why we want to talk about the benefits of his resurrection. There are so many things which happened before he died and rose again. We can also talk about those things which happened before he died. But we just want to talk about the benefits after his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember there was there were two sisters one time before his death and resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elizabeth and Mary. Elizabeth and Maria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That they were expecting. Children. Amen. Amen. But Elizabeth, for six months, the As child was still still in the womb. Uh, Elizabeth, and she was wondering. As an expecting mother. Hallelujah. Amen. But remember when this issue. When the Lord Jesus, when the word the Lord Jesus Christ has been mentioned, something happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Something happened. Because the word Jesus has been mentioned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We can also talk about John. When John was then born. And he was, was still growing. And his parents were no more there. And the people thought he was going to follow the same channel or the same footsteps of his parents. Amen. Amen. So they were expecting him maybe to be the priest after his father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
But remember what the Lord has upon your life. Amen. Amen. When John was nine years old, he went into God's program. And the program of God took him into the wilderness. Contrary to what people thought he was going to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it's good and it's very important. To follow or to get into God's program. So I was telling your pastor that no, God has his own time. You know, many times they've been calling me, please come, please come. Of course, have some excuses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So John went into the wilderness. You know, John waka pinda mrenji, and he was there with the Lord. Doku vava i koko nashi. Amen. Hallelujah. When he was still nine years. Achi ine makore mafumba mwe. I don't know who's nine years here. And ziva ine makore mafumba mung panapa. So that you can see, if God leads you into His program, you must follow. Kuti tiwone kuti kana mungari achinga kutana. Is there Murungo wake unofana kutera. Aripo eripano. Ani makore mafumbangu. Can you just stand up my... Unga sumuka ere wechiki. Yes. Se huyu. John was like that boy. Johanna kanga kaka ita se mkoma nao. And he accepted to get into God's program. Ndoku gamchina kupinda. Murungo wa mungari unga gara kupas. And the program of God took him into the wilderness. Zuno urungo wa mungari waka mende samrenji. And the Bible say he was there for 21 years. Aka gara kukwe makore makumi maviri neri mecheti. Hallelujah. Amen. So he had 21 years plus 9 years. Saka bata nidza makore 21 ni 9. It gives you what? Zuno kupa mangani. The mathematicians tell us. 30 years. Makore makumi matatu. Who is 30 years here? Diana ni makore makumi matatu panapa. Our brother is 30 years. Hama edi ini makore makumi matatu. So John was in the wilderness for 21 years. God leading him. Instructing what to do. Telling what to do. And what to eat. Amen. Amen. In the wilderness. Not in a town like Harare. Not in a location like Budiriro. But in the wilderness. In the backside of the wilderness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But he was in the God's program. That was the best thing he could do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to Samaria. And uh, go farm by Samaria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as I say that you just want to greet one another. Sekutara kwa ndai ita kuti kungo kwa sana beds. Then you can also to koko also to koko to subo ya tu. If you invite us, then you invite us back and really preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember David one time. Murangarire David pane mwe nguva. He was so thirsty. Akanga abatwa ne nyota. And he desired the cool waters. Ndokushivira mvura dzinotonorera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he just give an instruction. Iye ndokubva apara iro that he was desiring the cool waters. Kuti aingoshivira mvura dzinotonorera. When the Soldiers or the generals heard that. Zino mauto kana makuruwe ondo pavaka zinzwa. They knew what to do. Vai ziva zikuita. 
and they went in to fight the Philistines. Ndoku vaenda kundo ruisa va Philistia. The Bible said about 15 miles of the flesh of the Philistines. Bible re noti mamaira angaita 15 e ungwanda ngwanda we nyama ya va Philistia. I don't know how many kilometers how many kilometers of 15 miles. And is zive kuti mamaira 15 ma kilometer mangani. How much? 22 kilometers. Ma kilometer 22. When they came back with the with the waters, pavaka dzoka nemvura. Is it David to drink the water? Pachinano chekuti David angwe mvura. He just poured it down. Akaidira pasi. He said I'm not worthy. Akati andina kukodzera to drink this water. Kunwa mvura hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't forget we are talking about the benefits of his resurrection. Musakangana kuti kutora pamusoro pezvo zvibetsiredzo zvatinoona mvha muri mukoro wake. We are still this other side. Tichiri kune rumwe rutivi uru. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet preached this message. Prophet anokuparidza maridzo hii. I know. Dinoziva. I just want to start take you from that message ndoda kutora kubva mumaridzo iyoyo i know preach 1960 ndino ziva yakaparidzwa gore 1960 uh, 04 04 17 uh, 17 hallelujah hallelujah i know maridzo ino ndi ndino ziva i want to start from paragraph 9 The prophet was praying. And he said, Our gracious heavenly Father, as we have gathered this morning, here in this little church by the side of the road, Yes, they are also on the side of the road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are grateful indeed for thee. For all this mean to us. And especially on the on this Easter morning. If there had not been an Easter we would have not been in this condition we are today if it was not the easter hallelujah hallelujah that easter is what sealed all of god's promises easter ndiyo yakapa chisimbiso kuvimbiso dzose dzamwari That Easter is what sealed all of God's promises. Easter ndiyo yakapa chisimbiso kuvimbiso dzose dzamwari. It confirms them to us. Ikazvisimbisa kwatiri. Hallelujah. Amen. So Easter seals all the promises of God you can think of. Saka Easter ndiyo inopa chisimbiso kuvimbiso dzose dzamwari dzaunga funga nezvadzo. Think of any promise. Imbofunga pamusoro pevimbiso ipizvayo. From Genesis to Revelation. Kuva kuna Genesis kunobata zvakazarurwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Easter seal. Easter yakapa chisimbiso. Hallelujah. Amen. So Easter sealed all God's promises. Saka Easter yakapa chisimbiso kuvimbiso dzose dzamwari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Easter is not just an event. Saka Easter haisingoriyo chimwe chitiko. But Easter is a person. As Easter, munhu pachake. Hallelujah. Amen. When you talk of Easter, kwataura zve Easter, we are talking of somebody. Tiri kutaura zve umwe munhu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And this somebody is the Lord Jesus Christ. Zvino umwe munhu uyu ndiye Jesu Kristo. This there is a new we are saying we are talking about the benefits of his resurrection. Chikonzero tiri kuti tiri kutaura pamusoro pezve zvibetseredzo zvatinoona kubva kuri mukuru wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The benefits. Zvibetseredzo of his resurrection. Zviri mukuru wake. Praise God. Mwari varumbidzwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And tonight manera nasi uh, is almost uh, Five or so months after Easter. Ah, uh, ingava mwe dzimishano kana inora udzira kubva zvatava ne Easter. And somebody can say, ah, brother, how can you talk uh, 
scriptures or take scriptures which take us back to east again as if we are in the times of Easter. But there's this one thing which the prophet said. From this message uh, that day on Calvary. That day on Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to show you something from there. Verse 4. We cannot talk of Easter. When you are not talking of Calvary. Amen. Amen. Because that's where it started. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this message that day on Calvary was not preached around Easter. It was preached today. No, it was preached this month. 25. Hallelujah. Amen. And the prophet said, paragraph 41. Paragraph 41. It seems like it would be a little out of season. This should be on Good Friday. Hallelujah. Calvary should be remembered every day. And we have heard so much about it. Read so much about it. Preachers have preached on it since the beginning of time. Singers have sung of it through the ages. Prophets foretold it for thousand years before it ever happened. And the prophets of this day point back to, to when it did happen. It is such an important day. It is one of the most important days of all the days that God ever laid down on, uh, on, the, on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Calvary should be remembered every day of our life. The moment you remember Calvary every day of your life, you cannot just remember of the event which took place. But you remember what really happened on that day. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. it was... The Lord Jesus Christ himself who died for your sins. Who died for my sins. If you had not died for your sins you would not be what you are tonight. But today we are enjoying the service because somebody died for you. There was no man on earth who was worthy to die for your sins. Neither your father, neither your mother was not even also worthy. But the Lord Jesus Christ himself he died for your sins. And he said, yeah, it's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it happened as if he had done nothing in your life. No, as if you had not done anything in your life. <coughs> but yet, you are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you will live a contra life to the word of God. Wairarama upenyu wakanga waka pesa na nishoko. Ndio waini za mara ni wewe. You were the one who was uh, the troublesome guy in the neighborhood. Amen. Amen. Ndio waini za kuchukure wewe. You were the one that was troublesome at school. But he died for you. Asa akakufira wewe. And he said it's over. Akatrapera. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you dig and raise your hands Zin, now in church. Zino nasu no kwanza kusumza maoko uri mkireke. And one out of the brother wa rumwe ya. And people will say the brother is in the spirit. Sister wa rumwe ya. That sister is in the spirit. But uh, yesterday you were a not man. Asi zuro uyo wakanga uri amunu uh, ane upenzi. Amen. Amen. But he died for your sins. Asaka kufira. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must appreciate what the Lord has done for Saka us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And the, the prophet went on and said this. Same message. <coughs> and the prophet went on to This is like out of my notes. Uh, 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 paragraph 53 paragraph 53 just write down there uh, almost at the end of paragraph 53 there is no man that ever visited calvary and seen it the way it was. Just imagine in your mind. Or just take a journey or a trip to Calvary. And see what Calvary like was like. And see what Calvary was like. Uyende uone zvakanga zvakaita Calvary. The Lord Jesus Christ hanging on the cross of Calvary. Ishe Jesu wakarembera pa mchinji kwa Calvary. Just have that imagine in your life. Imbo za misapfungwa pa msoro pezuni izozo muupenyo wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no man that ever visited Calvary. Hakuna munu wakambo shanyira Calvary. And seen it the way it was. That can ever be the same. Amen. Amen. So if you take this trip to Calvary. And you see exactly what happened that day on Calvary. The Lord Jesus Christ is hanging on the cross of Calvary. The prophet is saying, you will never remain the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that he ever uh, designed or longed for. Chipine chipi chaka shuvira kana kukarira. Is met. Chaka gadziriswa. When he read that place. Paaka shika panzimbo ii. Amen. Amen. The moment you get to that place. Pauno no shika panzimbo ii oyo. Whatever you are desiring in life. Chipine chipi chaka kushuvira mupenyu. Whatever you are in need in your life. Chauri kukumbira mupenyu wako. See what Calvary was like. Ukangoona za kanga ziri Calvary. Everything is being made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't lose this opportunity tonight. Take this trip to Calvary. And say, Lord, this is my desire. This is my need. This is what I'm looking for. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It will be made there. Zino gadziriswa ipapo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Benefits of his resurrection. Zipetseredzo zvirumukuru wake. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. From the scriptures which you have read tonight. Kuva magwaro ataverenga manerano. Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 and verse 17 and 18. Iyo zvakazaruwa 1 verse 18 uh, verse 17 and 18. And Rome, uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Uh, Roma chapter 8 verse 11. And Mark chapter 16. Na Marko chapter 16. 15 and 18. Uh, verse uh, 15 and 18. 
The prophet also read the same scriptures. Prophet akaverenga magwaro mamwe chete. And he pray this message. Dokuparidza marizo i. It is the rising of the sun. Inonzi kwa kubuda kwe zua. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the rising of the sun. Kwa kubuda kwe zua. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I go further. Disati na enda mberi. Let's go to St. John chapter 21. Nati ndi kuna John 21. Just want to show you something that. Tuna ukura za ichi mchini ipapo. John chapter 21. John 21. Last phase. Verse yekupetsera. The Bible say. Bible renote. And there are also many other things which Jesus did. We open as you must use Jesus. Okay, it's going to Jesus. They which if they should be written every one. Mukuti. That is also why fan ra kunyoro wa chime na chime chazo. I suppose that even the world itself could not uh, condemn the books that should be written. Amen. Dino funga kuti kunyangu enika ino haezo kwa nisa kunyangu kukuchira mapuku ezo waka nyoru wapa msoro paki. Imagine this world. Imbo funga nika ino no kukura kwa kaita. If all what the Lord did zo sezo waka itu kwa nashe if it was captured or written na izo waka nyoru wapa si in a book form. Ah, muchimiro che buku. The Bible is saying. Bible rikuti. The world could not even contain the books. Nika hizo kwa nisa kwa gukuchira mapuka. So there are so many things which the Lord did. Saka pani zinu zaka wanda zaka itu kwa nashi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are so many things which the Lord has done to you today. Ziri po zaka wanda zaka waka itu wa nashi iwe nasi. But some of the things was not revealed to you. Ah, sisi mwezo zinu zacho. Zwanga zisina kuzaruwa kwa uri. So maybe you can just go as if the Lord has done nothing. Saka yo unu kuna kufamba hako sekunge ishea wana chavaka kuitira. But there are so many things who the Lord is doing. Ah, sisi ziriko zijinji ziriko itu kwa nashe. That if all those things were being captured. Mukutidai zunu zose izo zo zaka nga ziriko nyoro kwa pas. And put in book forms. Zichis kwa mchimiro chema buku. The world itself could not contain the books. Nika pachayo ya kanga isinga kwa nisi kukuchila mabuku. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So there are so many things ah, brothers saka, and sisters. Kuna zvinhu zvakawanda hamane hanzadzi. We the Lord has done. Zvakaitwa na she zvakaitira tabana kiri ino. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Muno zvitenda here. There are so many things we the Lord has done. Zviriko zvizhinji zvakaitwa na she mutabana kiri ino. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Which if every one of them had been written down dai chimwe na chimwe chazo chakanyorwa pasi church ine ngada yakazara nemabuka acho this church could be full of those books ngada ai musimo muno you were not going to be in here but praise the lord asimari varumbidzwe paul said paul anoti we are the written epistles tisu tsamba dzakanyorwa hallelujah hallelujah so the written epistles are sitting down tonight. Saka tsamba dzakanyorwa dzigere muno manero ano. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you are the books. Saka ndimi mabuku acho. Amen. Amen. And somebody is reading uh, reading from you. Uye umwe munhu ari kutorava kubva pauri. What is he reading from you? Ari kuverengei pauri. So mind. Saka kwaira do your things. Maitiro anoita zvinhu zvako. That somebody is reading from you. Nokuti umwe munhu ari kuverenga kubva pauri. Mind my brother my sister. Gwarira hama hanzatsi. Whatever we are doing. Chipine chipi zva uri kuita. Somebody is reading. Umwe munhu ari kuchiverenga. Somebody is being influenced. Umwe munhu ari kurunzirika. Somebody is saying I desire if I can also do the way this brother is doing. Umwe munhu ari kuti ndinosuvirawo kuraraama muraramiro uri kuitwa nehamai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The benefits of his resurrection. Zvibetseredzo zvatinowana kubva muri mukuru wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he had not risen from the dead. Naye akanga asina kumuka kubva kuva kafa. Our garden tonight will be in fire. Kuungana kwedu pano manero ano kungadai kuri kwenando. Kungata yaungana tichi kuti naya manza. What were we going to say if we would have gathered? To open the book and say, uh, our God is alive. People will say, ah, you're crazy. We are in power. Come to the beer hall. 
Because there is no proof. Hallelujah. Amen. But we thank God tonight. He rose from the dead. And he is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He is now tabernacle himself in your life. You are the tabernacle yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. You are enveloping the Lord Jesus Christ. So mind my brother, my sister. How you conduct yourself around. Amen. Amen. But adventure people say, no, I won't go to that church. So you can block someone. Or you can encourage someone to come to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is exactly what you are desiring. Amen. Amen. Remember one time Peter. Maybe with the other disciples. People they have heard of these disciples. And they said we need our sick to be healed. No, we need our sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Instead of Peter go and lay his hands and pray for them. People were just lay on the road like that. And whilst he was just passing. His shadow touching the sick. People will jump and leap for joy. Hallelujah. Amen. That was only after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. If he had not resurrected, these things could not been of benefit to us. But brother, sister, tonight, we have read from Mark chapter 16. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That going to the world and preach the gospel, those that believe shall be saved. And those that doesn't believe shall be doomed. And these signs they shall follow them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are the tabernacle. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to see the signs following. Not following the signs. That's the mystery between you and the world today. The world today, they want to follow the signs. Wherever they've heard their signs are happening. They just rush there. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible to tell us As Bible not signs must fall us. Amen. Amen. Hey, I've gone ahead of my notes. I don't know now. I don't know what to do now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are the written epistle. Read by all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you must live a Christian life. You must walk like a brother. You must walk like a sister. You must walk like one redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. People must see the difference. Say no, this is brother. This is a sister. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must come to that stage. Where people quickly identify us. Hallelujah. Amen. That alone will influence someone. I do say, no, I want to go where this boy is going. 
I want to go where this girl is going. I want to go where this couple is going. Amen. Amen. A written epistle. Tamba. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember one time when I came here. And the pastor just said, can you just greet the, the church? I don't know, but I remember I, I remembered this in the afternoon. That when I stood here, I was talking about the, the pillar of fire. That the, the prophet was told to turn it right. Kuti um prophet ya waka uzgo kunzi shungwe gore itendere zende kuruchiki. Amen. Amen. And he was now telling the people. Zino akanga kuzavan. That are you seeing the eyes and the nose and the mouth? Kuti muruku ona erema zsoa ke munozake ne murumwa ke. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I was just going through the, this message, it is the rising of the sun. Zino pana kanga ndiku pina marizo iyo inonzi kwaba kubuda kwezuwa. Then I noticed, ah, no, he's talking about the, the pillow of fire. And also this consolation of the angels which form the pyramid. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I said, ah, why is it that, is it a coincidence? What is it like? Amen. Amen. But, all the same want to appreciate the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we want to get all the benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. If he said, okay, let's go to Mark, to Mark chapter 16, where we read. And you see these things. That with the, 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 the Lord Jesus Christ said. Mark 16 verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is one of the things which we must benefit as the church, Hechino, as individuals. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That devils must not dwell or have comfort in our lives. We know devils are there. The devil is still there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the reason why we gather like this tonight. That we can influence one another the right way. And encourage one another. That when you believe, when you stand upon the word of God, and when you speak to the devil, they must recognize and they must move out. Because it's a commission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord Jesus Christ said it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, We must cast out devils. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must enjoy that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's what the Lord has said. Amen. Amen. That we must speak with new tongues. Amen. Amen. Not just everyone should speak in tongues. And then the reason why the prophet pray this message, church order. Amen. To put things in order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. It's not everybody who's supposed to speak in tongues. But all the same, we need to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. They shall take up serpents. Amen. Amen. If we take this scripture as raw as it is, Tikatora Rugaru Uru, Ruri says our Ruri. Usazita Manya in the Mawara. Don't be, uh, you know, a person of emotions. And the hand around in the forest there. I want to take the snake. It will strike you, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will be stricken. Amen. Amen. But no way to apply the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. No way to put the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Amen. Amen. Don't say ah, today, no, tonight, no I'm going to drink no red poison. Uh, sorry. It will work, but you die. As you know, Shanda, as you know, Farmer. Amen. But no way to apply the scripture. As Ziva, Pekushandi Saguaro. This is a commission given by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We know it works. When you take deadly things. Hallelujah. Amen. And you say, Brother, come and lay hands on me. Wrong here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will heal you. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will paralyze the devil. Amen. And you come out from that place rejoicing, giving glory to the Lord. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. So now I know brother I want to exercise this scripture. I must lay hands upon people. You'll be disappointed. Amen. Amen. At the end of the row. I mean the end of the row of the people will be praying for. Okay. The first one will be still complaining. Amen. No way to apply scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. The benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. He rose from the dead. That when we apply these scriptures. It will prove. That for sure he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It will prove to the devil. That for sure he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. For the Lord Jesus Christ stands with his word. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 For he is still the same yesterday. Amen. Amen. So we need to benefit from the Lord. Because he rose from the dead. There are so many things we are desiring tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I've been seeing my brothers, I've been seeing my sisters, but Lord, when is my turn coming? I've got a good news tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he rose from the dead. For your own benefit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For your own benefit tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Just go before the Lord. With wholeheartedly. All that reverence. Hallelujah. Amen. He won't disappoint you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He won't disappoint you. Amen. 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 In his time. He makes all things. 
beautiful. Anaita kuti zvinhu zose zvingonaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In his time. Munguva yake. He makes all things beautiful. Anaita kuti zvinhu zose zvingoringana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it must be a tabernacle. Asi anofanira kunge ari mukati mauri. Hallelujah. Amen. Live in you. Achirara mari mauri. Walk in you. Achifamba ari mauri. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Whenever you go before the Lord, pose pa unoenda mupo washe. Then the Lord will say yes. Na hizo zoishe uchati hongu. This is the time. Yavangu wai. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavens will be on that. Matenga ano ziti gira. Praise God. Marvarumbizwe. Hallelujah. Amen. I know preachers they know this. If you go ahead of your notes. To come back it to be another thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I just want to appreciate the Lord tonight. Since we are greeting one another. It won't be a worry to me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's go to this message. This is the rising of the sun. Matthew 1965. Yeah, 1965. 0418. 0418. Paragraph 70. Paragraph 70. The prophecy. And that gospel light of the resurrection the confirmation of the word how did we know he, he was the, the Christ? Because he proved what he told about. Amen. Amen. This is Christ. Di Christo uyu. Proved to what he talked about. Ndokutsigira zvakanga ataura nezvazvo. Amen. Amen. Like I said there are so many promises. Sokutaura kwandaita kune vimbiso zvinji. Don't worry my brother you prove to that. Ah usanetseka zvako hama yangu acha zvitsigira. Amen. Amen. How will I know the message of the hour? God proves what he promised. God is different from you and me. At times I can promise you something. Then it becomes so difficult and hard for me to stand with what I have promised. Then I started to give you reasons. But God doesn't do that. God doesn't give reasons. Whenever he said something, you will make sure you prove that. Amen. Amen. God proves what he promised. And he talks about it. That is the identification. That we are a beneficiaries with him in the resurrection. He proves what he has talked about. He proves what he has when he said, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. He didn't send the preachers 
And he left whilst he was just doing other things. But he went together with them. To make sure that whatever they were going to say, he was also proving. Oh, stand with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What he promised to do. He proved on the resurrection. What he promised to do in the days of Moses. He proved it. What he promised in the days of no of Enoch. He proved it. In all the days of the apostles, he proved it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are seeing this, brothers and sisters, that all what the Lord has promised, imagine from the time of Moses, in the time of Enoch, he was proving it. Remember the prophet Malachi 4. What the Lord had promised to him. God proved to, to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To show that even this night. What he promised to you. Is going to prove it. Amen. Amen. Whatever he promised to you chipine chipi chaka kuvimbisa is going to prove it it acha chitsigira amen amen when he did it in the time of moses paka daro munguva dza moses in the time of enoch kunyange munguva dza enoch in time of all the apostles nenguva dza apostles vose he can still do it tonight ano enderera mberi kuzviita kunyange na nas was still the same yesterday nekuti ndiye mumwe chete zuro today and forever na nas nokusinga pere remember the Three Hebrew children. Hallelujah. Amen. When they said we are not going to worship these idols. And it seems as if God was not there. When these boys were dragged into the fire. Amen. It appears as if God was not there. It looks like that was the end of their life. But God had promised them. You are not ashamed. You will be not ashamed. God will not be ashamed. With them who stand with this word. Hallelujah. Amen. So they stood with the word of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. And the Lord also stood with them. When they were now in the fire. When they were supposed to be consumed. Hallelujah. Amen. But the king said, I am wondering. I am seeing the fourth person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like the son of like, like the son of God. Amen. Amen. God prove it. Mwari vachizitsigira. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When you pray in the morning, pauno namata mangwanani, maybe taking a journey. Zichida uchida kufamba rwendo. Go in somewhere. Kuenda kune mwe nzimbo. Lord help me in this journey. Woti shendi batsire imu rwendo urgo. You know, many times we do that. Kazhinji tinodaro. You pray and you just take off. Uno namata wongo sumuka wenda. And forget what is going to happen in between. And finally we get where you are going. And maybe we'll be happy with your friends and relatives. And forget to thank you. Amen. Amen. As long as it is Vega. It didn't just happen. Uh, but that told me own. that he surely make sure you Prove it. Amen. Amen. My son prayed that you must take care of me, O Lord. May you just make me uh, to go around the accidents. Then you arrive safely. Then you forget to thank him. Amen. Amen. 
You go on your knees. Upfugama. And you pray, Lord. I need a wife. I need a husband. Hallelujah. That's a very good and noble thing. Amen. Amen. Because those are some of the benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. And for sure, I have to pray. You don't just go straight into it. You must seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, lead me to the rightful person. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is very faithful. Wherever he's been invited, the Lord is faithful he goes there and he comes by your side while still on your knees hallelujah Amen. and somehow he leads you into the path now you are going to have in life hallelujah Amen. but along the way you mistreated that person. You are now forgetting. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ one time was invited. By Simeon. Na Simeon. And he went to the invitation. Amen. Amen. All the invited people as they were walking in they have been washed. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord Jesus Christ was very faithful. Amen. Amen. All the way from where he was along those trails of animals his gowns were full of dust. His sandals were full of dust. And his feet were now smelling. Get into Simeon's house. I don't know what really happened. Maybe, maybe they could have peeped and see him now coming. And they tell that flank man say no. That one don't wash. And for sure I walked in without his feet being washed. But he was being invited. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have invited the Lord. But we now push him in a corner. Amen. Amen. But don't forget. He rose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That whatever you desire today is there for you. Is there for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you need is that there for you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We love you. We appreciate you. Amen. Amen. This is the reason why we have forsaken all what we have been doing. Amen. Amen. It's because you honor him. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Lord, I want to have this time with you. Lord, I want to speak to you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are the only one who is worthy to be worshipped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we want to appreciate the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. That he can prove that he is alive. Amen. Amen. One time his friend was sick. Amen. Amen. And he was told the message that the friend, your friend is sick unto death. 
And even when further. Preaching the gospel. And the message now was sent again. Ah, your friend finally is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Lord Jesus Christ came. The Pharisees said this is pure hypocrisy. We told him that your friend is sick. And we sent you a message that is sick unto death. But he never appeared. But now he's dead. Buried him. And he's now appearing. Show me where he's buried. Who does he see? What, what does he want to do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But remember he was the resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. He was the resurrection. Amen. Amen. Wherever he goes. Amen. Amen. He leaves things changed. Hallelujah. Amen. People had already parted the gowns of, of Lazarus. Hallelujah. Maybe there was also a brother there was also putting maybe the jacket or the sandals. Uh, Pada. <laughs> Show me with a lady. The rabbi said that these are now emotions. We told him and bid him to come, but he didn't. After four days. He is coming four days later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But the resurrection was now in their vicinity. They were supposed to rejoice. And say now the resurrection is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. But they failed to recognize that. Amen. Worse off when he said roll away the stone. Ah, then say this man already stinketh. Roll away the stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When he speak, Paka Taura, something happened. Amen. Amen. The man had died four days ago. He came back to life again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was you and me. Amen. Amen. Dead in the things of this world. But when he comes by. He called you and me. Into this gospel. Into this message. There was a transformation. Hallelujah. Amen. And here we are tonight. Raising our hands to the Lord. Thanking the Lord saying, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it was not the resurrection. Maybe today we could have been still bones in the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we thank God tonight. Amen. Amen. These bones are now alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Singing and rejoicing. Giving glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Benefits of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine, imagine brothers and sisters. 
If he had not risen from the dead. Today we are talking about the seven seals. Hallelujah. There was no way we were going to talk about the seven seals. Who was going to tell us? Who was going to review us to these things? But remember he rose from the dead. And he gave us the prophet in this generation. Hallelujah. Who reviewed these things before us? Now can read and you can enjoy the seven seals. The thunders. The seven church ages. The vows. And all the things in the Bible. Remember the Bible is the secret. Bible. But it needs the revelation. As of the one who rose from the dead. So, Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. the one who rose from the dead. He is not dead. But he is alive with us tonight. Hallelujah. He is alive with us tonight. And he is now tabernacle himself in your life. I am greeting you tonight. God bless you. Praise the Lord. What a way of greeting tonight. To be told of the benefits of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. You know some of the people have remained poor in life. Because they have not also scanned to look at what is provided for them. They've ignored their entitlements. Said, ah, let me just leave it. Huh? Just like a man Simon. who's got a farm and, a prize. and does not want to put in seed there. And he continues to say, I'm hungry. When the farm has potential for him to survive. This resurrection has benefits for us. But you must be like a prospector. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because good things don't come easy. Really become uh, like a mkorokoza. As you be scouting for what belongs to you. God has promised something. This is what we are being told. The death of Jesus Christ was not just in vain. Praise the Lord. When he resurrected, he rose up with benefits that he has promised to Moses. It's also cascading to you. What he spoke through all them prophets, but you must scout for it. Praise the Lord. Footprints means possession. When you have seen the stuff, scout for it and claim those things as yours. But if you leave them idle, it doesn't help my brethren. Your mother, Mama has cooked, uh, you know, food at home. Then you say, I'm just too lazy to eat. Then you sleep. Tomorrow, I'm lazy to eat. Then you go to the city. Wazoka. Come back. I'm lazy. I can't eat. Uh, you will be so slim. So, you will be so slim. 
Then they will ask, is this person eh? infected? What's going on? In Zara Chetri Chetri. He's just a hungry man. You need to eat upon the promises of God. These are the promises the brother is spelling out. Did you know that they are promises, brethren? That's what he's trying to tell us. The time was just so short. He was going to explain for all of it. This is your promise, this is your promise, this is your promise. Praise the Lord. But have you heard of your promises? Or others that you have thought in your mind? Calvary just made you to have the benefits. With the way there was no hope. Lazarus at When Lazarus was dead. Four days. For four days. Christ then Christ came back afterwards. Those that knew that uh, what's that you're wasting time. And he said, roll off the stone. Are you still having the faith? As if Christ has taken time upon attending to the problem. If you are told to roll off the stone, you do that? Do you need and want to roll off the stone tonight? So that Christ can do his work. But if you ignore him, like what Simon did, it doesn't help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't you roll Visa off the stone? Roll off the point. stone of unbelief upon your heart and believe in the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many believe upon the word of God tonight? There are benefits of resurrection. They are those benefits of resurrection. They are the ones that have been spelled out tonight. It's you who must benefit out of it. Because that's the reason why he died. Praise the Lord. Brother, don't tell us. No, Ravas. Don't tell us. This brother speaks so softly, but it just goes right deep into the heart. Praise the Lord. Brother, don't be silly. Amen. If the Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, can a mweyo yo wakamutsa Christo vakuva fiuka garama uri? It shall quicken your mortal body. Ucha mutsiri zamutumbi wako uno fall. Praise the Lord. Your heart must be quickened to the promises. You see it alive. Go and possess it. Don't continue to procrastinate. Let them be quickened in your heart tonight. That this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your life. This day, this scripture is fulfilled in your life. As you go on, because there's no reason for you to stop. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many have enjoyed the meeting? Tonight? Praise the Lord. Amen. I certainly did. Shall we rise to our feet? Amen. 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 The rising from the dead was for you to benefit. Praise the Lord. So benefit my sister. Benefit my brother. But Sirika, my Praise the Lord. Have concern over this very word that we believe. But can and shoko ira tino tenda. Let's close our eyes. Tizinzi yemeso ebi. Brother Gabriel, come pray for us here. Brother Gabriel, we have tina matiri. That wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as And all be we, they shall walk and all fear. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. Yes, to way. As our brother prays. Take it in your heart. Believe it, my brother. Praise the Lord. Amen.
benefits of his resurrection. Ishe mwa icho kwa di kuti mi makau ya pano pasi mukatai wa dinoenda kuzoti kinorawa na wangu baba pamsoro pezo ma pezza basa makaienda ipapo kwa kauvari baba sama simba mukaruero wa baba nekuda kwe kwe mukataza kwe du ishe wangu mochene mukaruero wa ishe tenge so Kristo nekuda ishe tenge so Kristo kwe kukanga ni sa kwe mume na mume. Asi sheten Jesu Kristu zadaro magataura mukati zapera mukai nda ibi sheten Jesu Kristu kupiro mari wangu muche ne pamsuru pezo sheten Jesu Kristu zakai ta kunge snap kwa na makasu muka kwa ni kwa msisi wumpiro baba makamuka kuva kwa kafa baba muche tira Jesu mari wangu muche ne tans kwa madika ni ano kuti baba paru mukuru enyu wamaga ita ije Jesu. Pani baba sama simba zetino ufana kunge tichi benefita baba madekani ano Chuya imambo jesu mchene wedenga Mubate mungwe na mungwe madekani ano ishe jesu Terekona hama ni anjazi baba madekani ano Wane zishuo pakatika mkati memoyo Chuya imambo jesu Mubate mungwe na mungwe ishe wangu Mari wangu makatendeka Tamira baba takatiwira baba madekani ano Ishe wangu mchene wedenga Chiti tunga mirirai baba paka uvari Ishe mwari wangu mchene wedenga Tikoshika baba sama simba Baba kusangana baba sama simba Nizishuo jose zitno shuira Mwari wangu mchene Shukuru sei baba Tishitsei baba kusangana nemi mambo jeso Kuti hama ni anjazi mwena imwe Iko kusiwai Mwena mwena shete jeso kriso Haku kukamchirai Mwena mchene baba Ugotonga baka tika mkati memo yume ama Ime na ime shete jeso kriso Shete batsireo baba madika ni anu Baba pedu nusuka panguwa yuko buda di chenda kumba Famba yone ama ni anjazi mwena imwe Baba tino kutendai Baba sama simba ni mshumiri amira panjimbo Tino kumbira shete jeso kriso Mzore zere simba na brama wari Kuda kwe yishe te njeso kresu kukwe kwa baba mkati me shumiro yao Mwari wangu ya wandu zei Yishe wangu mchene wedenga Mugo famba nao baba baba wachangwa chizoka kunotoni Tana maata kulikiza doku tenda mzara kresu jesu Amen Praise the Lord We are written epistles Chiri tzamba za kanyorwa the many things that Jesus could not write. Or the people who were putting together the histories of Jesus. Those things have been bestowed in your life. So that you become a vessel of honor. Just like in Jeremiah's time. He was kept in a vessel of clay. And you are also the vessel of clay in our time. You are the vessel. You are the person whom the people must be reading. You are caring for Jesus Christ in your heart. And things begin to happen in your life. Just like Peter. A believer like you and me. And what began to happen. Even a shadow. To solve things that were going on around. God will do also explain through your life. Don't underrate yourself. Don't think it's the next brother that must be doing it. Jesus Christ died for for you. Are we together? So you must just accept it and recognize it. This Calvary was just meant for me. And it's not a thing that I must be waiting to be talking about over Easter. It's a daily occurrence. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you love the Lord tonight? The brother was very clear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, brother Makwin. Amen. Amen. This is our father-in-law. Given uh, the, the, the wife to brother Cosmas. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
So we are actually respecting him because our father in law came to preach for us. Shall we appreciate our Tejara? Praise the Lord. God is so wonderful. If the Lord allows us to be on earth again, because we were told there is the rapture that must be coming any time. If he doesn't come by Sunday, shall we meet again here? Let's be on time. But there is also one thing that I must remind you. When your child, your child is coming out to Sunday school, give them a, a, a money gift. Because the church needs money. Praise the Lord. When you also come for service, come with two gifts. The money gift and a soul gift. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to see both gifts on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Do you think you can do that on Sunday? Can I see your hands? Let me tell you, brethren. <laughs> By his grace, all things so, will be well. We want uh, to be punctual our and Sunday school times. And we appreciate the teachers, the uh, way you are teaching the little, little children. And, and, yeah, and, and, and also, you know, the other Sunday school ages. Uh, we really appreciate We really appreciate you. We really appreciate you. We really appreciate you. We really I'll be also preaching on a message that touches Sunday school, ministers, everybody in church. Yes, when I finish on my series, The Anointed Ones. But we still have somebody to preach for us on Sunday. We still have somebody to preach for us on Tuesday. Let's come, let's support all these brothers. Praise the Lord. And then we see what the Lord gives us from there. The Lord is so wonderful. Greet a brother or sister next to you. Then you say, There is no more COVID. Uh, greetings unto you. Praise the Lord. Amen. COVID, there is no more COVID. Greetings. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We so much appreciate you, church. Brother Victor and Brother Matthew will do something for us. Uh, Brother Victor and Brother Matthew, as we go. Praise the Lord. Amen. Won't it be wonderful then? There'll be no burdens to bear. Hallelujah, joyous singing with our bells all ringing. Oh, won't it be wonderful
Thank you.